وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله مدي في وز أوف مدني شانل Alhamdulillah, Azza wa Jal, there are many benefits in sending salawat, virtues upon the greatest of mankind, the peace of our hearts and minds, the most generous and kind, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. The beloved messenger sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam states that if you send salawat upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 1,000 times daily, then you shall not pass away, you shall not leave this world until you have seen your place in Jannah. Yes, my dear viewers, by reciting 1,000 salawat upon Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam daily, you shall reap such reward that you don't have to wait for the akhirah, but rather in this world, you will see your eternal abode in Jannah, inshallah, azza wa jal. And if he was less recite the root upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Now alhamdulillah I am pleased to be welcoming you back to an episode. A, another program about this great remarkable individual. The remarkable one. Yes, that's the name of the program, the remarkable one. He's a person who is unique, a person who is the greatest of all people. And he is such a person that if it was not for his sake, then we would not even exist. Yes, who is this individual I am speaking about? It is the greatest of mankind, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Now, Alhamdulillah, during in this program, we speak about, and inshallah, I shall be speaking about the khaswa'is, the specialities, the special characters unique to the greatest of mankind, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Such characteristics, such manners, such etiquettes, such habits and such attributes which Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam was granted exclusively, exclusive to Rasulullah sallallahu alihi wa sallam and one of these is the name which Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala was granted. And this is what we shall be hearing about today. The blessed name or even the names of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala but more importantly, the most important name, which is this blessed name, a name which sounds beautiful. When you recite it, alhamdulillah, it just sounds so peaceful. This name is Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam was given this name, granted this name. Granted by who? By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam, he himself tells us, this hadith sharif is mentioned in the sahih of Imam Muslim radiallahu ta'ala anhu. It said that Hazrat Muhammad ibn Jubair ibn Mut'im, he narrates from his father who states that Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam had said Qal, inna li asma the messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam says that I have many names ana muhammad 
Allah Akbar. Such a name that we use when we read the name, when we hear the name, we, mashallah, kiss our thumbs and place them by our eyes. A name which sounds so beautiful. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa begins with this name. That my name is Muhammad. And inshallah, as to what Muhammad, this blessed name Muhammad, means, inshallah, we will discuss this. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says that my name is Muhammad. Wa ana Ahmad. And I am Ahmad also. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Ahmad. Who Ahmad means the most, he who is praised. He who is praised and praised to a great amount, in quantity, a huge amount. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Ahmad. He is praised in large amounts. He is the most praised. Wa ana al mahi. Rasulullah says that my first name is Muhammad. Second name, another name is Ahmad. Another name is Mahi. Now, Mahi refers to an individual who omits, who removes, who obliterates, who clears. And Rasulullah he explains what does it mean by Mahi. Rasulullah says, Wa anal Mahi. الَّذِي يَمْحُ اللَّهُ بِي الْكُفْرَ Rasulullah says, I am Mahi, the remover, the obliterator, by whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obliterated kufr, disbelief, apostasy, by means of Rasulullah al-Mahi. This is another name of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam states that an al-hashir. He says that uh, I am hashir. Another name of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is hashir. Hashir is a gatherer. is a person who gathers. And this yawm al-hashir, the day of gathering when everybody shall be brought together. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa gives a reason. He gives a reason. He says, وَأَنَا الْحَاشِرُ الَّذِي يُحْشَرُ النَّاسُ عَلَىٰ قَدَمَيَّةِ That I am known as Hashir. Why? Because the people shall be gathered at my feet on the day of judgment. That I am the gatherer at whose feet the people on the day of judgment shall be gathered. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam states, وَأَنَا الْعَاقِبُ you would have heard many people call Aqib. Such with an Ain, we say Aqib. It's Aqib. This is the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ana al Aqib. I am Aqib. Alladhi laysa ba'dahu ahadun. Aqib is a person who comes towards the end. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the first of all creation. We must understand this. He says, I was a prophet at that time when Hazrat Adam والسلام, was yet between water and soil. He was always there. He was the first of all creation. But he was sent last. He is Aqib. الَّذِي لَيْسَ بَعْدَهُ أَحَدٌ And nobody, meaning no messenger of Allah وسلم, no prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has come after him, was sent after him. He is the last and final of all prophets. He is Khatam al -Nubiyyin. He is the, the seal of prophethood, my dear viewers. So this is another name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, this program is about the specialities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And one of the specialities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his name, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some of you may be thinking, how is this a speciality? Inshallah, first let's hear about how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was given this name. It's mentioned by Ibn Asakir, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib, anhu, the grandfather of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa قَدْ رَآ فِي manam. He saw a dream. Now what did he see in this dream? He says, كَأَنَّ سِلْسِلَةً مِنْ فِدَّةٍ خَرَجَتْ مِنْ ذَهْرِهِ He saw as if there was some sort of chain being extracted from his back. 
وَلَحَا تُرْفٌ فِي السَّمَاءِ وَتُرْفٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ You know, it was taken to the, to the heavens, to the skies. It had a part in the skies and also upon the earth. وَتُرْفٌ فِي الْمُشْرِقِ وَتُرْفٌ فِي الْمَغْرِبِ In the east and also in the west. ثُمَّ عَادَتْ كَأَنَّهَا شَجَرَةٌ And then it takes the form of a tree. This is, is you know, going through the heavens, up, going east, west. And then it takes, it takes the form of a tree. عَلَىٰ كُلِّ وَرَقَةٍ مِنْهَا نُورٌ Upon every leaf, so this even had leaves, upon every leaf there was nur, there was light. وَإِذَا أَهْلُ الْمُشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ يَتَعَلَّقُونَ بِهَا And the people of the Ahl al-Mushrik on the east and the west, they, they hurried towards it, they were inclined, they were brought towards it. فَعُبِّرَتْ لَهُ And then what was the interpretation of this dream? It was interpreted. For Hazrat Abdul Muttalib be mauludin, that there was to be a birth of a child, yakunu min sulbihi from his offspring, yattabi'uhu ahlul mashriqi wal maghrib, the people of the east and the west shall follow him, wa yahmaduhu ahlul samai wal ard, and the people of the heavens and the earth, they shall praise him. Falidalika sammahu Muhammad. So he said, for this reason, Abdul Muttalib, undoubtedly he was inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave him this name Muhammad. The people of the heavens and the earth, the east and the west, they shall all praise him. And what does Muhammad mean? Alladhi yuhmadu hamdan ba'da hamdan. That person who is praised and he's continued to be praised. Praise after praise. Marratan ba'da marratan, karratan ba'da karratan. Every moment. Every second, he is continuously praised. Praised by the East and the West. So undoubtedly, he is to be called Muhammad, the one who is the most praised. And this is the name which Rasulullah was granted. So yes, this is special in his meaning, my dear viewers. But some would be thinking, but other names are also beautiful. Yes, they are. Was that the Adam was given such a beautiful name. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was given such a beautiful name. Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, what a beautiful name. Hazrat Isa, each and every single one of these, these are names of prophets. Every name of a prophet is beautiful, no doubt about it. But the name Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam was given, this name Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam, this is special in its own way. It's not just that it possesses one meaning, no, but there's so much more behind this name. For example, if we were to see on, on the one hand, he's the most praised, he's known as one who's praised. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Mahmood, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also praised. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad, somebody who's always praised. And how is this? And it's also the similarity it possesses to the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It says that the name Allah has four letters. It has the alif, a lam, a lam, and a ha. So it has the alif, two lams, and a ha. There are four letters in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And similarly, in the name Muhammad, how many letters are there? Meem, ha, meem, dal. MashaAllah, those people, will, we all should know this. We all should know how to write, how the name Muhammad. We all know how the name Muhammad looks. We've seen it so many times, Alhamdulillah. So just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name has four letters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's name possesses such similarity to the name of Allah. It also has four letters. Allah and Muhammad. Similarly, the name Allah has a tashdeed. Also the name of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sallam is also mushaddad. The third letter. Meaning that letter W which you would see in writing. They are both mushaddad, both the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are both mushaddad. Meaning they both have tashdeed. And it said 
that Hazrat Hassan bin Thabit radiallahu ta'ala anhu he says dammal ilahu isman nabi ila ismihi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has has joined the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to his own name if qala fil khams al muazzin ashhadu every time for the five times a day when the muazzin he says ashhadu la ilaha illa allah first he says i bear witness there is no god other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah in the azan and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a messenger of allah the hassan bin sabit says that wherever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name was mentioned rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name was mentioned shaqqa lahu min ismihi liyujillahu fadl arshi mahmud wa hada muhammad and he says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken this name from his own name. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is called Mahmud. And this is Muhammad. The essence of this word, the um, original letters of this word are three in fact. Ha, Mim, Dal. Hamd. They come from the word Hamd. Similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad also, its essence is that of Hamd, praise. Another speciality of the blessed name of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that it is the only name which is whenever Allah subhanahu wa taala's name is mentioned, this name is also mentioned. One example we've given the azan. That when the azan is recited, Allah subhanahu wa taala's name is mentioned, but also Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name is mentioned. The kalima shahada. Whenever a person bears witness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is mentioned. But also, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah The blessed name of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam is also mentioned. So wherever the name of Allah ta'ala is mentioned, the name of Rasulullah sallallahu wa is mentioned. And the name of Rasulullah sallallahu wa is mentioned in so many places. And really is beautiful. I have a beautiful narration in front of me which states that once on Hazrat Ka'b Ahbar radiallahu ta'ala anhu states that Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was advising his own son Hazrat Sheetha alayhi salatu wasalam so he says to his son that you are going to be the next leader after me you are going to be my khalifa so he says so he advises his son you should adopt these etiquettes, you should adopt these etiquettes, you should adopt these etiquettes. But then there's something he says. He says, remember one thing, that whenever you mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, also mention the name Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. So, not sure, just as you're thinking, you know, he was also thinking that, why Muhammad? And in fact, he was also thinking, who is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa This was before the time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was sent to the world. So, Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wa he explains himself, he gives the reason why he says, فَإِنِّي رَأَيْتُ إِسْمَهُ مَكْتُوبًا عَلَى سَاقِ الْعَرْشِ وَأَنَا بَيْنَ الرُّوحِ وَالطِّينِ Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wasalam gives a reason why he says mention the name of Muhammad, remember the name Muhammad whenever you mention Allah's name. Whenever you do the zikr of Allah, do the zikr of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasalam. Why? Because he says that because inni ra'aytu ismahu, I would see the name, I saw the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam maktoobun ala saqil arsh written upon the arsh, the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنَا بَيْنَ الرُّوحِ وَالتِّينَ When I was yet between my soul and soil. As Adam alayhi salatu wasalam says this. And then he says, ثُمَّ إِنِّي تُفْتُ السَّمَاوَاتِ فَلَمْ أَرَى فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ مَوْدِعًا إِلَّا رَأَيْتُ إِسْمَهُ إِلَّا رَأَيْتُ إِسْمَ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ مَكْتُوبًا عَلَيْهِ And then he says, I was made to roam the heavens. Wherever I went in the heavens, whatever I saw, or wherever I roamed, I always saw the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam written in the heavens. Allahu Akbar. Wa inna Rabbi jannah, and Allah subhanahu wa taala made me stay in jannah in paradise. Falam arafil jannati. 
in paradise. I did not see any qasran, any palace. Wala ghurfatan. I did not see any room. Illa wajadtu isma Muhammadin maktuban alay. Except that the name Muhammad was written there. Every palace I saw, the name Muhammad was written there. Every room, the name Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala wasallam was written there. He says, I saw this on the bosoms of the holes. I saw the name Muhammad written on the, the reed stalks of the thickets of Jannah. I saw it written upon the leaves of the Sidratul Muntaha. I saw this name Muhammad written between the eyes of the Malaika, of the angels. And then he says, فَأَكْثِرْ ذِكْرَهُ So remember Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wa For indeed the angels, for al malaika, tadhkuru. They mention, they remember Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi kulli sa'atiha in every moment of theirs. They always remember Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah, there's so much more to be said about this blessed name, my dear of Mother Nishal. But as usual, time has got the best of us. This is one of the specialities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah, if you continue to watch the episodes, we will hear many more specialities of the greatest of mankind, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. The remarkable one, the remarkable one, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم